Hi, G and Pop. Happy anniversary and happy birthdays to you. According to my mom and her siblings, you are truly the best parents and we are all so lucky to have you in our lives. We know we are not the only ones who feel this way. So yes, a couple of your closest friends and family, why they love you and what their favorite memory is. We hope you enjoy. We love you. Hi guys. It's been a big year. Big birthdays and anniversary. Much love, joy, and cheer. The Krogans adore you. We wish you the best. Peace, love, faith, and Harbor Spring and all the rest. A new chapter begins with baby Joseph in the lead. These blessings of God, friends, and family are all you'll ever need. We love, we love, you. love you. Mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's see. What it looks like. I think you said germ. My favorite memory of Jane and Sherman is really a time period. It's when Liza and I lived uh, one street over from them uh, in Glenview when we had small kids. Um, they were on Indian, we were on Juniper. Uh, it, was just a, it was just a real magical time. Um, it was also a lot of fun. Uh, Jane and Sherman know everybody uh, in, the, in the free world and they, um, and they would in introduce us to all these great people. Uh, I also got to become Jane's uh, handyman which was uh, nice because my brilliant brother Sherman uh, convinced her that he really couldn't do anything. Um, again, brilliant. Uh, but mostly it was a great period because they gave us such comfort and joy as uh, we started to, to raise our small young family. Uh, to have such two uh, loving people uh, close to you was really a, a, a true comfort and joy. Why, why do I love them both? Um, mostly because both of them make me better. They, they really do. Jane was one of the first people that um, really articulated uh, what it meant to uh, how to live and she would say um, life is not a dress rehearsal uh, and um, you know, go hard, uh, have fun, do things and um, she's always stuck, uh, stayed by that and I've always loved her for that and uh, my brother Sherman because every single day he uh, reminds me of what it, uh, what a good man looks like, what a good man should be. And um, he, uh, he has been that his whole life and he has been my uh, role model because of it and, and I try to emulate him that way. I love you both. Um, happy 35th. Congratulations. Hi mom and dad. My favorite recent memory with you two is from last May. It was a dark and stormy night we were driving on Lakeshore Drive, heading home from dinner downtown. You were dropping me off at a friend's. We had Lake Michigan to our right and the city to our left. Mom was driving and we were approaching our exit when she asked, do I take a left or a right? And dad turned around slowly and looked at me and said, well, if you take a right, we're going to end up in Lake Michigan. And she burst out laughing as well, said, I know, but I still need you to tell me if I take a left or a right. The other question I'm supposed to answer is, why do I love you two so much? Well, for various reasons, but I'll list a few in this video. First, I think you're each wonderful examples of how to be an adult. Two, I think you're the perfect example of how to be a couple. And lastly, watching you two interact is something that will always bring joy and humor to my life because you're both uniquely odd and it works so well together. So that's that. I love you too and I will see you at the end of the video. You know Sherman, I've been doing a lot of reminiscing recently with our 35th anniversary coming up. I've been thinking about how lucky we are, how compatible we've been, what a great family we have. Everything really could not be better except for one thing. What could that be honey? Well, please don't take this the wrong way, but your fashion sense is terrible. In fact, it's embarrassing. Are you colorblind? I love you, sweetie, but dear mother of God, could you try a little harder to not be a complete fashion nerd? Jane, do we need to get into this again? So I'm a little bit of a fashion forward person. Plus, I'm darn comfortable. And what about what you're wearing these days? What? This little thing? This is 
more than just a fashion statement. This represents my St. Louis heritage and my pride in the Redbirds and what they have accomplished. A little sick with envy, are we? 100 plus years of failure eating away at you? Not so fast, little lady, lest we forget about last September when the Cubbies took the Redbirds. I think I'll be sporting this finery from the Cubbies for all summer long. All right, well, I don't want to fight. I guess we'll never agree. Wait, I know. Perhaps we should get some input from Sid and Lauren and see what they think. You know, that's a great idea. I have often admired Sid's fashion sense. We wouldn't have either of you change a thing. Uh, we love you just the way you are. <laughs> we really do. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary and, and happy, happy birthday, birthday to you both. Hey, Jane and Sherman. It's Madonna and John. We are wishing you a very, very happy birthday and a happy anniversary. Um, the things that we love most about you are how kind you are and how caring you are of others. And um, the wonderful dinners we've had together with the Hulls and the fabulous lunches we've had with um, uh, all of us um, and how dear you've been to come to all the MS walks with our family. Um, happy 60th birthday and happy anniversary. Uh, we love you so much and uh, look forward to many, many happy years together. Good. Happy birthday, Jane and Sherm. Happy, happy birthday. And happy anniversary. 35 years and a pair of 60s. That's right. And we have too many memories, too many fun memories with you guys to even have one stand out more than the next. Maybe we're only halfway there. Yeah. We hope we make it as long as you guys. And we have had so much fun with you in the past and many more fun memories to come. Great couple, great family. Love having everybody come visit in Connecticut when you're here. And we wish you all the best. Love you. Jane and Sherman, happy 35th. Happy now, anniversary. Mary's going to answer the few questions that your kids want answered. OK, the, two, the question was two memories, or a memory about each of you. And Jane, my memory of you is I'm Mrs. Reynolds to you. I love that line. My memory of Sherman is, Mary, you know you should always keep a good supply of haagen dust vanilla ice cream so we can always have Hummers at your house. Happy anniversary, guys. Happy Cheers. Happy anniversary. Love you. Only for you would I try this a video of a toast. I mean, this is crazy. I, I, I don't even know how to work this kind of stuff. I mean, oh, your children, they are awesome. Anyway, it's, it's so fun to think about them and to think about you and Sherman and 35 years. And oh my God, the fact that you are 60 years old. How did you get so old? God in heaven, when did it happen to you? And um, well, Anyway, I'm, I, it's, it's embarrassing to have such old friends, but I'll, I'll suffer through. But anyway, uh, to my, one of my oldest and longest and dearest friends, and um, I toast to you, I toast to our friendship, I toast to your wedding, I toast to your husband, and um, I look forward to toasting with you again. And... It's never soon enough, but I guess we'll see you when we head to Crystal Palace or wherever the hell that place is. But um, to you, to really fun times, to, um, to, to Scampy and to your mother. And well, I, I told you I couldn't let Boris go without being replaced. And I think Scampy was a good replacement. I, I still stand by that it was a good decision to get you a dog. But, um, I have, I, it's hard to think back on all the fun times that we've had. I mean, you've been my best prom date for a number of proms, and I thank you for that because I did need some really fun dates, and you were perfect. Thank you. And um, anyway, it's been a great ride. It's been more fun. 
I would do it all over again. Um, I am thinking of you both. I am toasting you both. I love you both. I look forward to seeing you anytime, whether it be in Harbor Springs, whether it be the Four Seasons, I would do that, whether it's in Chicago, St. Louis, or um, Arkansas, but that would be good too. Any place, oh, Cabo, any place, anytime with you, it's fun, and I look forward to it, and take care. I send my best, my love, because you are my BFTTE. Be well, congratulations, and I love you both. Video. Hey, Jane and Sherm, Bob and Mo, reaching out to you. We're so pleased and happy for you both uh, on your 35th wedding anniversary. Uh, we've, we've known you for years before that, and frankly have known maybe even before Sherm did that you were made for each other. Uh, you've really had 35 years of bliss raised some wonderful kids, uh, your gals uh, have picked some super husbands and now your grandparents and you've done it all in incredible classic style. Uh, we're so happy to uh, be part of the extended Reynolds family and hope that we're going to have a chance to enjoy good times with you in the very near future. Congratulations and lots of love. Well, my lawyer husband said it best. Uh, we love you. We're so happy for you and all of your kids and your in-laws and outlaws and new little Joseph. You're wonderful parents, a wonderful example to your friends and family. We sure wish we could be with you celebrating, um, but we'll do it again soon because someone else in this family has got to be getting married pretty soon. So love to everyone and... Um, Here's to you. Bye-bye. Okay, now, uh, I'm getting yourself. I'm not sure where there's a lip sync key. I did it. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Recording. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to Chardon Jane and Sherman. Now, God dang it, this <laughs> beer's not cold enough. Chardon Jane, give me a cold beer. Hey, you guys, happy birthday and happy anniversary. Uh, just a little bit of business before I start. Um, for future reference, please let everybody know that you cannot Photoshop um, a video. I've been trying, I've spent hours and hundreds of dollars trying to make myself thinner and have a lot of hair. It doesn't work. Um, I hope you guys have a great day surrounded by all those you love. Thank you for years and years of great memories, wonderful times. You are two of the most devoted, kind, and generous people I've ever known. Thank you for sharing all that you have with me and for including me in your family. And in particular, thank you for sharing Louise, who is just one of my greatest joys. Um, I hope you guys have a great anniversary celebration, a great birthday celebration. I, was with, I, I wish I was with you, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, Mom and Dad. Fourth child here. Just wishing you guys um, a very happy 60th birthdays and happy 35th wedding anniversaries. Um, what a time to be alive. And so I'm just going to share a few quick and funny and fond memories of the two of you. I'm just going to read from a list that Mom gave me because that's what they always looked like to me. Um, but the first two stories actually both involve eggs, which is weird. Um, I remember waking up in Central Road in high school and smelling freshly cooked eggs and coming downstairs and nope, oh, they'd be for midnight. So that always made me laugh. It was probably her fifth ACL surgery or so. And then um, a new tradition we have over the past few years is mom is kind enough to make a nice breakfast on Sunday. Bacon, eggs, the works. And she was out of town on um, one Sunday and dad looked at me and was like, breakfast what's going on I was like no sir I have to go um, to work and I'm gonna take a really quick 30 35 minute shower as I do and I got out and he was eating freshly cooked eggs on English muffin toast and I was like what more can you do that you've been hiding from us um, but truly the past few years being roommates with you guys has been 
nothing but a joy to me. I know a lot of college kids, post-college, have the sentiment of not wanting to move at home, and it's the worst, and going back to that life. Um, but I was more than happy to be your boomerang. What's not to love? Mom would always check in about dinner, and if you weren't there, Dad and I had a nice rotation, pretty well mapped out, of pizza, Hackney's, Glenview House, Indian Hill, and Dairy Queen. Just everything to get our greens in. Um, but what I love most about you guys is your unconditional love and support. Um, no matter what, you support each of your children and make us feel special in our own way. And I truly think that if I said I wanted to be in crazy career, you guys would support that. Um, and just to kind of do a few quick quotes, Mom, you've said over the years, flexibility is a condition of growth. Party's over um, after all our grandparents died, <laughs> but apparently not because we're here in Arizona. Um, and go Kerneco instead of Paul Kerneco. And I have a little text chain from you during the season when I was really busy. This past year, you sent me um, over the course of a few weeks a few texts. Thanks, good luck today, and a few emojis. Another one, I won't call, I'll talk to you this week. Great job, good luck. More emojis. And then another one, hope your event was great, call me later, but before the Grammys, and Grammys is somehow in emojis. Um, but it just shows, you know, your constant ability to check in and make sure we're okay and be positive. And dad, a few quick emails, um, subject line, enjoy, it was my last day at the White Sox, and you said, have a great day, Louise. Mom and I are very excited and proud of you. Love, dad. Another one, my chai bow which is code for Miami, Chicago, Boston, the three markets I work on. And you said, good luck, Louise, at the third leg of the Triple Crown. Love, Dad. Um, so it just shows you guys are always there for us, and I truly believe that I would not be where I am without you both in my life. Um, and I'm so thankful and happy to have you guys in parents, and um, let's have a great trip. Thank you. Love you. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sherman. Hey, happy anniversary to both of you and happy birthday congratulations i know uh, you guys are out somewhere celebrating but we're here in atlanta uh, on mother's day wish sending you this wish and hoping that uh, you have a great time and that we'll see you soon harbor springs all right Bye. see ya love you see if we can get this thing on the way. Washington, D.C. I'm here with a few friends. <laughs> I can't you Jay Sherman, happy birthday, happy anniversary. We love you. Wish you were here. Cheers. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. We miss you. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Miss you. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Hey, Sherman, Sherman and Jane, Jane. Happy, happy birthday and happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. This is such an exciting year for you guys, and we are so happy to be part of it. It's been great being with you over the years. We've worn some crazy hats along the way from golf trips. Woo! -hoo. Woo! For to bike trips in France. Hold on. Bike trips. And then how about the crazy memories down in Mexico and El Arco and drinking tequila. tequila. Anyway, you guys are the best friends to have. We absolutely love you. We only wish you good health, good cheer, happiness, and a wonderful, wonderful year. We love you. Happy birthday and happy anniversaries. Lots of love. Happy anniversary, Sherman and Jane. We're saying this from one of your favorite places and our favorite places here at Cyprus. Two of our most favorite memories of both of you are from here. Lots of love. Greetings. I take you to what I believe to be the summer of 1980. Maybe it was spring. Let's go with spring. I got a phone call from my Mr. Reagan and Mr. Snedeker, who said, I have to go over to the Reynolds house immediately. And I said, why? Can't tell you, they said. 
I said, look, I had been dating uh, Susie Comerford for a month or two. She was having a dinner party that night at her parents' house who were out of town. She had some people she wanted me to meet. So I said, look, I got to go to this dinner at Susie's house, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I said, no, tomorrow's no good. You got to get over here now. So I figured, well, I can uh, maneuver a little bit, and uh, I can come over. I can. I probably got about 10 minutes to spare. I said, I'll be over, and I'm, le I'm leaving in 10 minutes. They said, OK. So I show up at the uh, Reynolds compound, and uh, Mr. Reagan and Mr. Snedeker are nowhere to be found. But I walked into the family room, and there's Mr. and Mrs. R, and Sherman and Jane, a few other of the Reynolds clan. And uh, Jane jumps up, and she has a ring between her thumb and forefinger. She wasn't wearing it. <clears throat> and she shows it to me. She says, Foles, look. And I said something to the effect of, that's very nice. Is it your birthday? And she said something to the effect of, no, you knucklehead. We're engaged. I said, that's wonderful. Great. That's just congratulations. Now in pop uh, Mr. Reagan and Mr. Snedeker, Mr. Reynolds had sent them out on an errand to get a case of champagne. So now the toasts are going and there's a few of those and uh, there's a few more. Suffice to say, uh, I showed up at Susie's house three hours late. I thought it was gonna be some kind of a backyard, bar backyard barbecue Au contraire, it was a formal sit down at her parents' big long dining room table and I had the chair of honor to the right of Susie and my chair for the entire dinner was empty. Suffice to say she was uh, none too happy. If I said my best friend just got engaged, da 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 she was having none of it. Uh, so, uh, Turns out we agreed to disagree, and uh, that was our last date, with the date Sherman and Jane got engaged. Now, Susie Comerford went on to become Mrs. Jeff Jacobs, and so the uh, Jacobs family owes you both a debt of gratitude. Uh, well, I've got you an audience. I want to give a, a cup, out a couple shout-outs. I'm not a big fan of New Year's Eve, but a few years ago, uh, I was invited to Sherman and Jane's house for dinner. I was going through a tough time, and it was a very nice invitation. My dinner date that night was Kathleen Brady, probably one of my favorite New Year's Eves ever. Of course, I'm always, I've always been a big fan of New Year's Day because we'd be over at the Reynolds house watching football, and Mr. R would break out the, the milk punch, a little nutmeg on there. That was good stuff. But Kathleen Brady, thank you for being a, another mother to a whole bunch of us, and God bless you. Uh, another shout out to Mary Claire Reynolds Joyce, who was like a sister to a whole bunch of us, and who I named my uh, daughter after. Uh, thank you, Mary Claire, and uh, God bless you. Patty like, and I would like to say, Cheers to Sherman and Jane on 35 and 60. Love to you both. Cheers. I just want to say happy 35th anniversary to Jane and Sherman, a wonderful couple. And I'd like to say a little Irish, give them a little Irish blessing. Walls for the wind, a roof for the rain, and tea beside the fire. With laughter to cheer you and those you love near you, and all that your heart might desire. Love you lots. Bye. Yay, perfect. Sherman and Jane, Michael here to wish you a happy 35th anniversary. And with my limited uh, knowledge of technology, I'm going to try to scroll through a couple of things that we've enjoyed uh, over the years. So here we go. Maybe an occasional glass of wine. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, maybe an occasional beer after a long run. 
maybe before we have a beer after a good run on the Cape. Oh, more wine. Uh, UD, great weekends down at UD. Oh, maybe an occasional visit out west to one of our favorite spots. Of course, family backyard activities have always been great. So happy 35th, and here's to many, many more. Love you. Hi, Jane and Sherman. We're sending you this tribute from our favorite place, Carefree, Arizona, where we just celebrated our over and under. Thank God for Jack and Rose, who brought us together back in kindergarten. And since then, we've shared such a wonderful friendship. I'm so grateful to have you and Sherman in our lives. And I'm wishing you all the very best for the special year of 60 years old and your 35th wedding anniversary. Love you guys. So grateful to have you in our lives and wishing you all the very best. Love you. Hello, Jane Sherman. We are so grateful to have you as dear friends. When we first moved into the neighborhood, you threw truly one of the most memorable welcome to the neighborhood parties of all time. And we are, will always be grateful for that. Um, we're just so happy to be friends with you. Oh, I'm sliding across Jane's friend here. Hold on, I'm gonna back. We're just so grateful to have you. Be careful of this guy. We're just so grateful to have you in our lives. And we look forward to many years to come. Congratulations on 60 years and 35 years being together. We love you guys. Sherman and Jane, this is your brother slash brother-in-law, Stephen. Wishing the two of you the happiest 35th wedding anniversary as well as happy 60th birthday busy year for the two of you Jane I know you already had yours Sherman yours is forthcoming um, your wonderful children have decided to put together a tribute video for you and so I am thinking about St. Louis slash Clayton 35 years ago and I'm happy first of all I can just remember it the the thoughts that come to mind for your guys wedding since I was a robust 18 years of age then was one how much fun it was uh, two how much happiness there was at that event uh, some remembered some not remembered um, and thirdly um, what a wonderful relationship that uh, got formalized that weekend um, and has been wonderful for over 35 years now but you know that's kind of the serious part of it as, a, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, it clearly the fun was self-evident uh, um, I'm not sure Clayton has been the same since then um, uh, and and all of the great people were there and as I think about the relationships I mean Sherm Jane think about the amazing relationships that got started that weekend you've got the um, Byrne sisters and the Cotton brothers that's gone on for years uh, I'll let you share the details with your children if you're so inclined, but one of the most robust relationships. Um, uh, Ann Downey, Peter Wallace, another dynamic duo. Um, but <laughs> on a more serious note again, seriously, when I think about your guys' wedding, um, it was the first one that I really remember and that I got to participate in and see and, and literally the un, really the, the great fun it was um, with the Burns and Reynolds families kind of making a merger um, and then again what happiness the whole weekend exuded and lastly the wonderful relationship and partnership that the two of you have and have had so uh, with that all said I hope you guys are having a great family weekend or time wherever you are Sherman and Jane love you very much and your family and again, wish you guys happy 35th and happy 60th. Take care. Stephen out. Hi, Jane and Sherman. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> happy birthday to both of you and happy anniversary. My favorite memory with you guys is uh, June 20th of last year. There's so much uh, about that wedding that was incredible, and it was great to be a part of it. 
I love you guys because you've uh, been so welcoming and uh, let me become part of your family and that's been really special and I feel really blessed to be a part of this family and grateful to have the opportunity to spend time with you guys. So all the best uh, for a great year and many more years to come. And obviously I've known you my whole life, but it's lately what I'd like to share is just how much we've learned just watching you as a married couple and parents and grandparents. And so thank you for teaching us every day by example and leading by example. We all love you very much and one quick favorite recent memory I'll share is I've loved seeing you guys become, I guess not technically, but most of the time empty nesters. And that I happened to stop by to pick up a car the first afternoon of the first Saturday that you were at home alone together. And you like didn't know what to do with yourselves. You had already gone to two movies in the theater and like we're gonna go get dinner at 4.30 p.m. So I'm glad you're working it out and enjoying this stage of life together. We love you very much. Happy birthday. Congrats. Shane and Sherman, wishing you a wonderful anniversary celebrating 35 years. Uh, so thrilled uh, for both of you. And it's, oh, it's some wonderful memories with you, mainly of the first things that come to mind are the family weddings. Um, they've just been wonderful to see the your family together and how much you care for each other and Jane and Sherman, how much you care for each other. And uh, and then I have a favorite memory of when Jane visited me in Ireland with Peggy Radlett. We had so much fun. It was so much fun to, sh to have you there and understand kind of what our daily life was like in the residence and the beautiful grounds of you know, Phoenix Park. And we took some nice walks and we did a couple of nice tours. Uh, one was at Carmody Manor. And you just brightened my day having you and Peg there. It just brightened. It was so nice to have people from home um, visiting me, and it made my, you know, homesickness go away quite a bit. Happy birthday, Jane. Happy anniversary, Sherman. God bless. Have a great next 35 years. Congratulations, Jane and Sherm, on this momentous occasion. 60 years of life and 35 years of wedded bliss. But Jane, I first thought I'd bring you back to when it all started for Sherman and I, right here at the pole ball pit at Loyola Academy. Now, even though they're using this pit now as a high jump pit, and the fact that the kids now are high jumping what your husband used to pole vault, I don't want you to think for one second that that diminishes your husband's athletic accomplishments here at Loyola. He always told me it's not the height or the size that matters, but it's the amount of effort you put into something. So as you move forward, congratulations. I hope the years to come bring you to new and better heights. And now my better half. Congratulations, Sherman and Jane. So happy for you and so grateful for all the fun times we've shared in life. Between Harbor Springs, Evergreen Restaurant, Jane and I camping out in those many, many Brownie and Girl Scout camp out trips, trips to Sea Island, with our girls. It's all been so much fun. I'm looking forward to some really fun years ahead with you guys. All the best and congratulations. Now Sherman and Jane, even though I did not win this trophy running track at Loyola Academy or any of these plaques, no good Loyola Academy track story would be complete unless we brought in our coach. Sherman, congratulations on your 60th birthday and your 35th wedding anniversary. You were an outstanding athlete and student at Loyola Academy, and you represent the high standards and traditions of Loyola Academy. And Jim was standing there with that trophy, but all those little trophies in the back are trophies that we won championships, those plaques on the wall. And you're part of that. And you're part of that great tradition of the track team that had a, has a great uh, record here at Loyola Academy. You're an outstanding athlete. You were a pole vaulter. And I know the conditions pole vaulting back those days, we didn't have the best poles, we didn't have the best pits to, put, to land in, but you went on to be an outstanding pole vaulter. Not only did you be a pole vaulter, but you're an all-around track athlete where you, you did the triple jump and you ran a quarter mile and you, you did the long jump. You're 
You're always ready to do whatever we wanted you to do. So we're very proud of you and we're happy that you're a part of our lives and you'll always be part of our lives because you're a loyal track athlete and those guys never leave my heart. So God bless you and thank you. Okay, so we have to wish Jane and Sherman a happy anniversary. So are you ready? Are you gonna sing with me? Jane and Sherman Reynolds, it's her anniversary. Who? Jane and Sherman Reynolds. They're good friends of ours and they're having an anniversary and we're gonna sing happy anniversary. Will you sing with me? Oh, that's not gonna happen. Well, I, but I really need you to sing with me. Come on, it, it'll, we can just go, happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary. Come on, it'll be great. We should really, we should do this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really good. <laughs> Happy 60th, 60th. <laughs> Happy 60th Sherman and happy 35th anniversary. Welcome to the club. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Jane and Sherman, happy anniversary, happy birthday. Jane, I'll never forget all those daiquiri parties, junior and senior year. We've watched each other, known each other for a long time, watched each other grow old and cannot wait for all the years ahead. Happy birthday. I just want to congratulate Jane and Sherman, the nice two of the nicest people I know, and the best parents. They need to give classes <laughs> to other people. So Jane and Sherman, happy, happy 60th birthdays and happy 35th anniversary. And Jane, I just want to say I'm so glad that I saved your life in college because thank you so much without you and your organizational skills, I'm sure that our apartment in Henleyville would have had three sets of silverware, nine spatulas, 12 pots and pans, and zero plates. And thank you always for being my partner in crime, for rehashing all the roommate and post-party gossip. And Sherman, by the way, you were pretty good at that too, you know. And then thank you also for the fabulous, fabulous spring breaks, even post-college. And Thank you, Sherman, actually, also for introducing us to Meyer's rum collars because I'm positive that those punch planner's punches did not have enough rum. And thank you for giving us an excellent excuse to go to London and to visit Harbor Springs. And then thank you for the many, many other countless brunches, lunches, dinners, parties, and of course those fabulous weddings. So here's to you on your 60th birthdays. And by the way, you do know 60 is really Just saying. But anyway, so happy, happy birthday and happy 35th anniversary. Cheers. Good. Hey, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's your two favorite daughters, obviously, mm -hmm. Sheila and Rose. Um, we just want to wish you a happy birthday, happy anniversary. We hope you are enjoying this video. Yeah, this is a big year for you guys. We became grandparents. Um, oh, we're in their 60. <laughs> I don't know. You made it. <laughs> okay, you want to say your favorite memory? Um, yeah, Dad. I have a couple. Um, well, I am Mom, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dad. Mine would probably be going to Pancake House with you always before school and afterwards letting me always get a stuffed animal, which I still have, and his name's Hoyas, and so thank you for that. Those were great. And listening, just like the simple things, listening to music my in the car. Get my favorite memories are, well, we've spent a lot of summers up north together, just the two of us. Last summer we were in the Buell's McMansion. That was awesome. And I loved how you would always take me with your harbor friends on big long dog walks and then just us getting lunch and spending the harbor summers. <laughs> Looper. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. And then I also got my love of drinking rose from you. Glad we can cherish that together and tequila smoking cigarettes just kidding <laughs> but these are all great things that you've done and made us who we are so thanks for that um one of my favorite family mem memories is when uh, the five kids were sent downtown in a limo and mom stayed back like holding rose i remember that vision it was on 631 
and we met dad downtown for at like hard rock cafe and we literally sang the entire time and like we were all we were singing was peanut sat on the railroad track like over and over and over again and the limo driver thought we were insane and like probably thought you guys were insane to send five young kids down um but we had so much fun and um I think just like all the memories of Indian princesses and when you were the chief and bringing in the talking stick dad we thought you were like the coolest dad ever still are um last year Rosie and I had so much fun with you in Florida the Florida trip was unforgettable so much fun um mom some of my most favorite memories is uh when I was an uh, angel in the Christmas play and you sent me um, in a costume of complete white long john underwear and the other two angels were in like beautiful angelic costumes and I showed up in long underwear um, and you're completely apologetic for that um, and unapologetic and um, you didn't see what the big deal was um, and then when you went through that period of time like maybe like eight years ago where you always forgot where you parked your car like all the time and like I just have these memories of you at Westfield Mall and also in Georgetown where like you would just be driven around by the parking attendant because you didn't even care to look for it to look for where your car was but throughout all of those like funny memories you always kept like such a good sense of humor and showed us like awesome examples of being like fun loving and even though you were really strict as a parent like when we were younger you were you've always been so fun and um really instilled both of you have really instilled um in us how to have a good time not to take things too seriously um and we're just so happy that we can be here in arizona to celebrate you guys yeah and dad ended up actually solving the car issue by buying the brightest car that is on this earth <laughs> that bright red car to match my red hair and so yeah the problem with that was solved match made in heaven you guys are awesome examples of um great parents um and we are so happy and thankful that you guys are our parents Billy, love you hey jane and sherman uh happy anniversary and a very very happy uh two birthdays to you um, I have many, many fond memories with you guys and with your family, uh, but I have to say one that I think I will never, ever forget uh, was quite a formal one, and thus the informal setting for this uh, tribute. <laughs> um, when I asked your uh, permission uh, for your daughter's hand, Sheila, in marriage uh, during Sherman's graduation across the street from the Fairmont Hotel, um, I will never forget that, and I certainly was overdressed in a tuxedo, but uh, feel blessed and honored that you said yes. Um, you two are incredible, incredible role models to me and Sheila. Uh, the love you have for one another and the love you have for your family uh, is something that we definitely want to emulate as we grow older together. Um, I have had a lot of good memories with you guys and we're looking forward to having a lot more in the future, especially now that we will be in the Chicago area. So happy anniversary, happy birthday, and cheers. Jane and Sherman, happy anniversary. Yeah, we love you guys. So hey Jane and Sherman, I can't believe you're both turning 60 and celebrating your 35th wedding anniversary. You know, it's been like 42 years since I met you, freshman year at Georgetown. Um, we've had some really great times together. I mean, I was gonna mention some highlights. Besides the great times and the great nights at Georgetown, your wedding in St. Louis was great. I have really great memories of picnics and dancing that night. And then all the reunions we've been to since then have been really fun. So I look forward to seeing you there. Um, a, another highlight was the time where we, we all lived in Connecticut together when we had our really young kids all at the same time and going to your apartment in Greenwich. Um, that was a highlight of my times, my memories of you. Um, the week, what about the week we spent in Sun Valley? All, both our families, all the adventure we had together that week. And then watching our kids go off to college at Georgetown and elsewhere. Um, 
Anne and Emily being freshman roommates, I was really glad that Anne got to be with somebody that we knew and it kind of it kept us connected. And then, you know, watching the next generation of our kids become Hoyas was really fun. Um, so now, we're all turning 60. We're kind of in this club together. I'm really glad that you're joining this club. You know, I don't feel like I'm 60 and I don't feel old. And, um, you know, at least we don't have our Medicare cards like Tim. So we should be thankful that we have another five years till that. And um, I'm looking forward to getting together with you and celebrating your birthdays and your anniversary. Maybe we could do a golf trip in Florida or Harbor Springs. I'm threatening to come there. I really am gonna make it someday. And, or we, you could come to Raleigh or we could come to Chicago. We, wherever we go, it'll be fun if we're together. And the thing that I love most about both of you is that when we get together, it's always the same as when we left the last time. Um, the, Jane, your incredible sense of humor and quick wit is, is always a, a very fun thing to be around. And Sherman, your sense of adventure and just jumping in and doing whatever comes along and just the way you are with all of your friends, the way you stay connected. Jane, the way you call me every month or so just to catch up and see what's new. I really love it. And I hope that it can continue that way for a long time. So anyway, cheers to your birthdays, happy 60th, and happy 35th wedding anniversary. Hi, Jane and Sherman. Congratulations on your 35th, 35th anniversary, anniversary and your 60th, 60th birthdays. birthdays. There's not one special moment, but many, many outstanding times that we've spent together. From going to grade school and high school with Jane and actually being at the Little Harbor Club when you guys met to this float trip in 1977. Then our wedding where you all were saints on the hottest day I think St. Louis has ever had. We've loved all the reunions. We appreciate you coming into all of them. We couldn't resist Jane's 80s outfit in this. Then we had all our babies and they kept on coming. That's Emily and Patrick in your lap. We've loved your visits, whether it's been in the summer or in the winter, going on walks and just catching up with the girl time at Starbucks. Now we're celebrating onto our kids' weddings. Emily's was the first, and then we went up to Gregory's in Boston, and we've just been going, 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 having so much fun. Congratulations on the first grandchild, little Joseph, of all of us. You've set the bar high, you two. We love you. Have a very fun family trip. Hello. From our home to yours, happy anniversary, Jane and Sherman. 35 years is awesome. And congratulations as well on two 60th birthdays. We are very, very grateful to uh, have our, in our family the Sherman and Jane Reynolds crew. We love all your kids, your, your in-laws, and your new grandchild. It's just uh, fantastic. We're also blessed, and I'm glad you're able to celebrate these milestones. It uh, is possible that you may not be looking at this uh, in Glendale, Illinois. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Uh, from time to time, you have been known to travel. So I hope wherever you are, uh, you're, uh, you're enjoying family, friendship, and love, and having some fun. Uh, God bless. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds. I wanted to give a, a brief uh, submission. Um, happy birthday to the both of you, as well as a happy anniversary. Uh, I hope you guys are having fun in uh, Arizona, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Happy birthday, Jane and Sherm. Happy anniversary. Love you both. We all go back so far, and Bill wishes you both happy birthday and happy anniversary, too. And he said if he told any stories, it would be violating Sherm's HIPAA rights. So that's it. We love you. Enjoy. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday, Jane and Sherm. We love you guys. Here's a little walk back in time. Remember the barn and the pasture with our little kiddos? We love you guys. We love our dogs. 
little smoky little walk down memory lane who could forget this night in harbor springs how much fun was that oh my god harbor springs was a blast we'll all remember this sherm you notice it as the race course for the over 21 crowd as lo as well as the back bowls don't you know <laughs> how much fun have we had here and just remember when you're in you're in and of course we all have a reason to remember this place oh yeah that was the best dreams and happy family memories one, one of our reasons and also one of your relatives pumpkin Midnight's brother. Nightmare. I mean Midnight. We loved her too. She was part of our family. We love you guys. Happy Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> Happy birthday. God's blessings and love. You're the best friends anyone could ever have. Happy anniversary to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. We love you. Here's to Singapore. Here's to Jane and Sherman. Sherman. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary and happy 60th birthdays. Gail and I have had some incredible journeys, an amazing journey with you, and um, you, you've had some amazing journeys. We've had some sad times together, um, some happy times together, but we, you guys are always there for us, and we really, really appreciate it. Now, on the funny side, Sherman once told me he had had a few cocktails that he had the biggest. Oh, Stop yeah. it, Chip. <sighs> happy okay, anniversary. Happy anniversary, you all, and know how much we love you. And Jane, you're a unique story. Two of you met happy in college. Happy birthday. You courted, you were then married, and for 35 years you've been raising a beautiful family in Glenview. The truth happy is, anniversary. The truth is, there just aren't many people we know that have had that kind of background. What are you talking about, Willis? We know lots of people. Such as? Uh. Madeline and Tony, Peggy okay. and Dave. So you're saying they met in Carol high and Brian. So we need to us. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. That is true. Well, but they have a lot of kids. They have like eight kids. Yeah, we don't have that many. No, we don't have that many kids. Name them. Sam. Sherman and Jane's kids. Sam. Yeah. Sam. And Opie. Yeah. Luke. Yeah. Otis. No, they don't have an Otis. Okay. Um, anyway, we're just thrilled to be a part of what we think is a video. Uh, we'd like to wish you a happy birthday anniversary. With what? They've been married 60 years and they're both 35. There you go. There you go. Well, congratulations and we are thrilled to call you Jane Sherman, Sherman and Jane, How How Indian Princesses, our good friends. Have fun. Go bear. Happy anniversary, Sherman and Jane. We talk really slowly because your 35th anniversary and you're pretty old. This is tequila. Go Jane! Hello to the Sherman and Jane Reynolds clan. Hope you're all having a good time in Sedona. It must be special for all of you to get together to celebrate your wonderful parents on their 35th wedding anniversary and the year of their 60th birthday. The best present for the two of you must be having your entire family together under one roof. I met both of your parents at their engagement party. Not sure if they remember. And it was also Kate Reynolds' christening. I had only worked for the big guy for five months, but of course the lady of the fat house thought it must be time to meet the family. The day of the event I was a nervous wreck, but when we arrived, Sherman made us feel quite at her home. Sherman was the perfect host. That's if being the perfect host was getting my date loaded with tall glasses of vodka. He did do that but he was a great host. He made sure we had everything we needed and introduced us around. As I'm writing this, I now believe your mom assigned him to the post. It was a great evening, and Jane, as always, was so pleasant and lovely. Your dad was proud of all his family and would share many things about them. With the two of you, 
I believe I learned of every detail that he knew regarding the planning of your wedding. The reception. Lovely club in St. Louis, he would say. Jane's parents, wonderful. Her dad a doctor, very smart. Her mom, just a delight. The event was black tie. I know there are many more examples, but far too many to list. After Molly was born, he proceeded to tell me how fast Jane would have those babies. He just cracked me up. He would say something like, yes, they would almost drop out if she was walking. After each baby, I believe I heard it all. When Sherman was born, he was delighted that there was finally a boy in the house to take on all those girls. There were many, many good times with your family when I was around, but far too many bad times. During these times, I specifically remember how the two of you were always at the front of the line to help. I remember your dad telling me how Sherman wore a wig to entertain Claire, and Jane was there when Julie had to be rushed to the hospital. And the two of you were always taking their turn, staying with the parents when they were at the end. When your dad was ill, sometimes I wouldn't even hear Sherman come in and then I'd see him sitting quietly with your dad, and the same for your mom. He was more, he was there more times than not. I always made sure Jane was making, I always admired Jane for making sure Kathleen and your mom were over for dinner on a regular basis. And she would always make it a point to stop in during the week to visit them. And of course, he always made sure Kathleen is included. Both of you are kind and thoughtful and were in our outstanding role models for your children and their families. One personal note on your kindness. When I was in the hospital with my appendix for six days, the two of you sent me just lovely flowers. I still remember that. Again, so thoughtful and so caring. I thought it appropriate to end with an Irish blessing. May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of your children and grandchildren grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for one another trip a smile from your lips and a twinkle from your eye. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Have a great time with much love. Take 29, Jane and Sherman. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to one of the cutest couples we know. And one of the funnest couples I might add. Welcome to 35, and thanks for celebrating with us last night. Have a great trip. Bye. Hi, Sherman and Jane. It's Beth and Michael wishing you a happy 60th birthday, the both of you, and a happy anniversary. Um, this is the most adorable idea that your kids came up with to document how many friends and family love you. And uh, we were asked to um, tell you our favorite memory. And my favorite memory um, because I was in a Hoya, but I got to feel like one, was when we had dinner for Emmy and Sherman's um, freshman year and then subsequently when they graduated. So that was my favorite memory because it was just our two families experiencing um, their uh, achievements from Georgetown University. And um, it was very special to me. We have lots of memories from Harbor Springs, and Michael has um, a favorite memory, so you tell your yeah, favorite memory. I love our boating memories. We, uh, you, in particular, put together our boat trips, which I appreciate, and uh, we have fun, and uh, love to get together and, and spend uh, beautiful evenings on the bay uh, with good friends like you guys, and uh, we're just very, very proud of, uh, of our friendship with you, and uh, uh, again, wish you the best anniversary and birthdays. I uh, can't wait to see you this coming uh, July. Yeah, many more memories for many more years to come. You guys are the best parents. We're honored to be your friends. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Mwah. Hi, you two. I couldn't pick just one memory to video, so I'm sending you something from my heart instead. I'm wishing you health, happiness, laughter, and love, always. Happy 60th birthday to you both, and a very happy 35th anniversary. 
All my love, Loretta. Hi, Jane and Sherm. Happy anniversary. <laughs> I just laughed. Hi. Hi. No, we've got to start over now. No, we don't. Yeah, I do. Can Hi, I Sherm. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Well, anyway, we uh, we uh, want to wish you guys a happy anniversary and um, remember all of our great times that we've had together, especially our trip to France. And uh, Deer Valley with your kids and Harbor Spring times, which we adore it up there with you guys. The long water ski in the oh, yeah, Harbor yeah, yeah. Springs. <laughs> and just your our dinners together at each other's homes and uh, raising our kids together. It's been a joy to be around you. And happy anniversary and happy 60th to a wonderful couple. Thank you for our, your wonderful friendship and the love that you guys have given us and the love that we have for you and your children. You're a great family and great friends. And great, great, oh, and by the way, great grand. They're not great grandparents, they're only grandparents. Oh yeah, you're grandparents, All but right. you're great. Bye-bye. Hello, Jane and Sherman. This is our wish for you and your 35th wedding anniversary. And I am turning 60 as well, so. Listen, you two, 60 years apart, separately, but 35 years together, that's absolutely wonderful. God bless to both of you, the family, uh, our grandparents, our parents, the kids' grandparents would be very proud of the two of you. And we wish you all the best. Look forward to many more times together. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Mom and Dad. Happy 60th birthday and happy 35th wedding Sharon. anniversary. Um, my favorite memory with Mom is when I was growing up, and um, I always volunteered to go and run errands with you and spend that time with you. Um, I always loved that. And, Dad, my favorite memory with you um, was when I did cross-country in high school, and you get the course maps uh, for all my races, and you would find random places throughout the course to cheer for me and my teammates um you it, you know you'd pop out of the woods somewhere and you would always say go Loyola and go Ram uh, Ramblers never like go Emily um but my teammates and I always loved that and always counted on you um cheering us uh cheering for us at every race and my uh recent favorite memory and um reason why I love you so much is um watching you become grandparents and how great you are with Joseph and uh, how supportive you are of us as new parents. Um, we couldn't do it without you. We love you. And one of my favorite memories uh, was when uh, I came out to Chicago, this was probably six years ago, to uh, have dinner with you to ask you if I could marry Emily. And I had this whole big plan, and we were going to have dinner uh, down uh, in the city, and my flight got delayed for like four hours. And it was a whole mess. We ended up going to a place local here. Um, and the whole flight here and the, during the four hour delay that I had and everything, I had planned out what I was going to say and I had it all set in my head and it was a whole thing and I, you know, I was ready to go with it. And so we sat down and I started to say it and I think I got three words into it and Jane, you stopped me and you said, it's okay, you can have her. <laughs> I was like, ah, I just wasn't even what I was asking for. <laughs> but, uh, but that was really a fun memory, and then we sprinkled the infield and had a lot of fun drinks that night, and then came home and told Emily some story about how you guys had picked me up somewhere. Uh, which On was, the side which of the was road. <laughs> which was a lot of fun, but that was a great memory. But uh, really, I think also in the, uh, the day or two after this little man was born, which obviously was kind of a traumatic labor and delivery, uh, you guys were very, very supportive. Uh, and understanding and just unconditionally loving and supportive, which was really wonderful. Uh, and I'll always remember that. Thank you. Oh, happy anniversary, happy, happy anniversary. birthday, and we love you. We love Sherman you. And Jane, 1956 must have been a good year because there's four of us <laughs> either 60 or turning 60 this year. Um, Me too. We love you both. And by yes, the way, we do. it's not really 60, it's the new 40. Exactly. Definitely. Stay young. Congratulations. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
Jane and Sherman, Jane and Sherman, we love you, we love you. Happiness together, happiness forever. God bless you, God bless you. Mwah! We love you.